Hello, my name is Jason Suggett. Title of my presentation is a retrospective cohort study comparing an oscillating positive expiratory pressure device versus positive expiratory pressure devices in patients with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or chronic bronchitis on hospital readmissions at 30 days. This study was done in collaboration between Trudel Medical International and IQVIA Medical and Scientific Services. And I wish to disclose that I work for Trudel Medical International in a scientific capacity. For COPD patients, acute exacerbations are the most common reason for hospital admissions, with approximately one in five patients requiring rehospitalization within 30 days of discharge. The aerobic aeropep device has previously been shown to significantly improve outcomes such as easing bringing up sputum, forced vital capacity, quality of life, and exacerbations. When added to standard of care, this retrospective cohort study evaluated real-world outcomes among patients with COPD or chronic bronchitis, comparing the aerobic aeropep device to similar but more basic PEP devices, which do not generate pressure pulses. The study methodology utilized IQVIA's Charge Detail Master Hospital Claims Database. This enabled the identification of aerobic or OPEP device users and PEP device users in the study timeline. Patients receiving the aerobic or OPEP device were propensity score matched to patients receiving a PEP device based on demographics and baseline comorbidities, history of exacerbations and drug therapy. The proportion of patients experiencing a COPD chronic bronchitis related readmission within 30 days of the index visit was evaluated. After one-to-one -one propensity score matching, 588 patients receiving the OPEP device and 588 patients receiving PEP devices were compared. Baseline characteristics were well balanced. The chart below shows that patients using the OPEP device had a statistically significant 31% reduction in COPD chronic bronchitis related readmissions within 30 days of the index hospitalization compared to those patients with a PEP device. In conclusion, results from this study demonstrate a reduction in COPD chronic bronchitis related readmissions within 30 days of aerobic or OPEP device therapy initiation compared to PEP therapy. This further supports the use of the aerobic or OPEP device as an add-on to usual care to manage COPD chronic bronchitis patients post-exacerbation and provides some evidence as to the additional benefit of pressure oscillations over standard PEP.